Hello, everyone. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great because I'm doing good too. I want to thank all of you and appreciate you for subscribing to my channel, for starting this journey with me, for being a part of my imperfect start. <laughs> I don't know how to express my happiness for having you on my channel, on my platform. I am going to be making a meme sketch today. A meme sketch pattern. I know you guys know what a meme sketch pattern is. If you don't know what a meme sketch is, this is it. A sketch that has this, you know, fullness at the down part of the sketch. This is what it looks like, guys. This is what it looks like. I hope you can see it. So, without wasting much of our time, let's go stretch and drop the pattern of this beautiful sketch. Yes. The making of this meme sketch pattern is our paper scissors. Our tape, transparent tape, marker, our pins, pattern master, long ruler, hip or needed. Let's get started. This is my pattern paper here. The pattern paper I'm going to be using to make this uh, meme skirt. First of all, before altering this pattern to a meme skirt, we are going to make a basic long skirt block. After which we will be altering it to a meme skirt with a slash and spread method. I've gone ahead to draw a vertical line. I divided my hip measurement into two. Normally my hip measurement is 40 or the hip measurement I'm using for this uh, pattern is 40. 40 divided by 4 is 10. But for this pattern paper because I'm going to be drafting the front and the back at the same time. So what I did, I divided my hip measurement by 2, which is 20. And that 20, I, I, I drew a straight line to demarcate it, making 10 for the back, 10 for the front. And I also left some allowance for the zipper allowance at the back pattern. And I also left some allowance here at the upper part of my pattern, as you can see. Here, we are going to be needing that too. We will start by increasing our vertical measurements. The waist measurement I'm working with, before I increase my vertical measurement, let's level our pan. Here will be my CF, my center front, and I'll make here my side front. This place is going to be my side back, and I'm going to use this place, and I'm going to use this place as, as my center back center back cb let's call it cb there center back we are, we are going to be having a zipper allowance that's it right having said that so having done that we are going to start right now by imputing our vertical measurement and uh, my hip depth or the hip depth i'm going to be using for this is nine the fullest part of our hip circumference is nine. Then put it down, nine. Also at my back part, I'm going to put it down, nine. We have that. The nail line is a very tall person. I'm using 20. twenty so like so we got that the next thing to do is to impute our horizontal measurement our horizontal measurement that's what we are going to be imputing now. Uh, I'm working with waist 32. I'll divide it by 4. I'll have 8. 8 inches. I'll be adding 1 inch. I'll do the same thing. At my center back, 8 inch for my waist. Hip is 10, of course. We don't need anything there. And the nail. So the next thing we're going to do here is to Yeah, then I'm going to be putting my dart now. 
boss pan is four and a half. That is what I'm going to be using for my dart. And the length of my dart for my front pan is five inches. I'm going to be making do with five inches dart at my front skirt block. I'm going to be taking half inch on both sides. And I'll draw my line to connect my dart leg. Sorry. Like so. Let me give me one more. Good. For my back pattern, I'm also going to be taking my dart. Before I do that, I'll be coming in by three quarter of an inch. Like so. I'll take my dart four and a half inch. And uh, I'll go up by two inch from my hip depth and take my dart. Usually, I can as well make it six inch, but let me go up two inch from my hip depth and uh, impute my dart. Four and a half inch, or then four and a half inch, I'll draw my dart. Sorry, guys. This is where my dart is. So guys, I went up by two and a half inch from my hip depth then. I mark my line. I'm also going to be taking half inch on both sides <clears throat> for my back dart. Then I'll mark the line and join my dart legs. Like so. So this is it for my dart. I came in here by three quarters of an inch. I'm going to make a gown anyway. So at the waist line of my center back of my upper body so i also uh, you know went in by two quarters of an inch so by the time i bring out my you know upper body it's going to match with this three quarters of inch that i came in here that helps to snatch the waist and give us a good fit the next thing i'm going to do is to draw this line to my hip line like so And also draw a line, my side front pattern like so. This is it. Then we move over to our nail line, our nail line. For my front sketch block, I'm going to be going in by two inch. You can as well go in by two and a half inch, whatever that is fine by you. Then this two inch, I'm going to bring it down at my hem line. Use my long ruler. First of all, I'll connect from the hip line. I don't want it curvy. Let me see. No, I don't want it curvy. Let me use the straight part of my pattern master. Like so. Then I'll go ahead and draw a straight line to the hem line. The two inches that I came in here at my nail point, I also take the two inches down here at the hem line and I mark a straight line to the hem line. For my back pattern, I'm not going to go in by these two inches. I'm going to divide the two inches by two. I will put one inch on this side, center back, and one inch here at my side back. I'll connect like so. Sorry for that. And I'll also connect the line here. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'll also go ahead and take it down. Take this one inch that I marked at the hip, uh, new line, sorry, down. Do the same thing at this side of my pattern and connect it with a straight line. Connect it with a straight line. I'll do the same thing on this side of my back pan, the center back pan. So this is what it looks like. I hope you can see what I'm doing. This is what it looks like. Before we go ahead to alter our sketch, we still have a few steps to go. The next thing to do, I will be going up by half an inch here at my side front. I'll also be going up by half an inch here at my side back. This is where we have the measurements and this, where you have your last measurement. On my side back, go up by half an inch. Hope you can see. Right. On my center front line, I'll be coming down by 1.25 of an inch. You can make it 1 inch, 
this is to eliminate the all this puffiness or what we like call wrinkles that is usually at the front of the skirt if you don't do this smiley lines or whatever they call it so that's why i came down here by 1.25 one inch you can do one inch two five so i am going to connect it let me use my hand curve to give it a little bit i don't want it to curvy to give it a little bit curve then i'll connect the line like so i hope you can see that then i'll also connect from my side back the one inch we went up connect it like so it should align to the first line guys this is a marker sometimes it doesn't give us what we want this is it this is what it looks this is what it looks like let me extend my dark legs a, a bit so i've extended my dark legs to match it the next thing we are going to do now is to remember we came in here by three quarters of an inch whenever you reduce you have to add it up so i'll be adding three quarters of an inch on this side of my pan to make up for this part that i came in so let's go up a bit by half an inch connect it pretty well and then i will be slanting to my hip line this is it guys this is it for our front part and i hope i'm not too fast <laughs> So what I did here is that we came in here by three quarters of an inch. So because we came in here, that means our pan measurement has shortened. So I also added three quarters of an inch at this side of the center uh, of side back to make up for this three quarters of an inch that we came in. That's what I did. And here I have to, you know, come down at my center front by 1.25 of an inch and slant it to half an inch at the side front. So guys, this is it. This is our pattern front and the back i'll be cutting it out right now and then we will be altering this pattern into a mermaid skirt using the slash and spread method we'll do it right away so i'll cut it out like so it for you to see because I don't want to get anybody confused is it guys so let me put this one pattern aside because we are going to be doing something here at the uh, center back pan so our zipper allowance is one inch so when marking out your zipper allowance you start with this three quarters of an inch that we came out that we came in so this is one inch you mark it one inch for your zipper allowance this is it an inch no 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 you want to be careful you came in here an inch also an inch by the time you get to the new point, it will align with that one inch we came in with while marking our pattern at the initial point. So I'll connect it like so. So this will be our zipper allowance. All this area here is our zipper allowance. We are going to be cutting out this area now. This area is excluded to our pan. That is it, guys. So let me cut it out and show you what next to do. I hope you can see guys, I hope I'm not <laughs> teaching myself. Like so we'll be cutting off this place.
guys, this is what we have. I finished cutting it out. This is what it looks like. Our front pattern and our back pattern. This is what it looks like. So right now, without wasting much time, we're going to be ushering this pattern into a meme sketch with slash and spread method, guys. Doing that, you come here at your hip uh, nail line. Sorry. At my nail line, mark what you have. Eight inch, you mark the middle point, four inch. You also come down and mark the midpoint of your pattern. Connect it with like so. You do the same thing, mark the midpoint from your nail line to your hemline at the back pattern. So guys, I've marked a line from my nail line to the hemline, mark my midpoint and I mark a line down. I also did the same thing on my back pattern. So now I'm going to be slashing the pattern. Let me turn it so you can see. So for my front pattern, I'm not going to be slashing this side of my center front. I'm, I'm going to slash here, cut through, cut this side of my um, side front pattern and leave like one eighth of an inch, a very little to hold my pattern together for me. So let's cut it. I have gone ahead to slash my pattern. This is our back pattern. I slash both sides at the nail line. Both sides. Both sides. I slash it at the nail line. Leaving a little bit, like one eighth of an inch to hold my pattern for me. This is it. So I'll move it away for now. This is our front pattern. I only slashed this side, my side front. I didn't touch my center front. This is it. So I'll be bringing in another pattern paper. Then we proceed to the next stage. I've gone ahead, I I have a new pattern paper here, so what I did here is I placed our pattern here, I drew a line to indicate my midpoint and the midpoint also here on my original pattern, match the midpoint so I get a good result at the end of the day. So let me see, I'll come down, you can do whatever, whatever with this pattern, like let me 1.5 of an inch, I came down from that center line, then I spread my pan, let me use my pin to hold it down, or my tape, let me, so guys, this is it, I hope you can see, I hope you can see, it's even more than, so, make sure that both of your pattern, they are pointing towards each other, and the gaps are equal, half inch, half inch, okay. This is one three quarter of an inch. So guys, this is it. Let me pin it down and see how wide you have to also at this hemline here. Let me see how many inches we have. Yeah, I have ten and half. You will also make sure that you have ten and a half at this side of your pattern. If not, it won't look good. So, this is my ten and a half. Yeah, this is my ten and a half. I've got a new pattern paper here. You can play around with it just in case you want to make like bridles. You can add as much <laughs> as much as you like. You can add whatever 10 inches 20 inches 30 inches as much as you like let me just say i want to add a 15 just say 15 inches here then you may want to just you have to do anything please just get your curve towards what you extended so you can see that so let me now use my curve i just did it so freehand yeah let's eyeball it by the time i'm making up by six inches you can do Whatever suits you, I think 6.25, that's a point of five, sorry, yeah. You do whatever suits you. The essence of this video is just for you to, you know, have an idea of how to use slash and spray method to get your beautiful meme sketch. There are other methods too, you know. But it's just for you to get one or two things out of this video and apply your own creativity to it. This is what we have, I will cut it out right now, so that you can have a clear in view of what it looks like. If 
two ones. I can give it another shape. Give it another shape. So guys, let me cut it out and show you the outfit. And I've gone ahead to, you know, trim it off. This is what it looks like. Another pattern paper, I've placed my front uh, skirt pattern on it. As you can see, I also drew a straight line. It's not a must that you draw a straight line at the center of your pattern paper. The most important thing is that you have a straight line to align to it. So that you, you know how the funny shape after altering your pattern. So you can see that I drew this straight line a little bit away from this other side because I'm going to be moving this side of my, this side front pattern of mine. I'm going to be moving it to this side. You know? So whatever suits you, you move it. So let me see how far I can go with it and how many inches I can go with it. Down. I don't know, this will be fine for me. For you, you can do whatever you want. You can do 17, you can do 18, you can even do 16. So let me play. So guys, I've gone ahead, as you can see, to dress up the, the pieces. I've also extended it to 18 inches from this original line. I extended it to 18 inches. But Sorry about that noise, guys. A lot of noise on my background i had to take off the volume so this is it for the tutorial today the f the back piece you cut into two and the front piece you cut into two i hope you're able to learn one or two things from this tutorial i'll see you guys on my next one please like share subscribe to my channel thank you guys for being there for being a part of you guys so so much from the bottom of my heart see you on my next one bye bye